Hello, God's children. Jesus loves you. Update on the rapture and the Middle East War, the beginning, Psalms 83. There was a 5.6 earthquake in uh, Iran off of the Kish Islands. And uh, Netanyahu said Israel won't agree to a truce that doesn't allow the IDF to destroy all Gaza tunnels. With the wars going on in the Middle East and the earthquakes going on in the world, we do not know the day and hour our Lord Jesus comes back. Only the Father knows. The redemption is nigh. Be ready. Middle East War, the beginning, Psalms 83. I'm going to take you to Psalms 83. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, that they hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken craftily counsel against thy people, and consult against the hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut, cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no longer be more remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites and Moab and the Herodonites, Jebal and Ammon and Amalek and Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Ashur also has joined with them. They have helped the children a lot, Selah. Do unto them as the Menadites, as the Syria, as the Jablin at the brook, brook of Kisan, which perish at Endor, they became dung for the earth. Make their nobles that are Oreb and the Zeeb, you all the princes at Zah and Zulama, who said, Let us take ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a wheel as a stumble before the wind, as the fire burnt as the wood, as the flame setteth in the mountains of fire. So persecute them with the tempest, and make them afraid with the storm. Fill their faces with shame, as they may seek the name, O oh Lord. Let them be confronted and troubled forever, yet let them be put to shame and perish, that man may know that thou, whose name is alone is Job. Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. Okay, <clears throat> on July 31st, 2014, um, on, it was on a Thursday, which had been probably Friday there, Friday morning, Israel and Hamas agreed on a 72-hour ceasefire. Israel declared uh, Gaza ceasefire is over on Friday now saying that the Hamas millets breached the truce soon after it came in effect, about almost four hours into the truce, and apparently captured an Israeli officer while killing two other soldiers. The Israeli military said that 90 minutes into the truce, millets started attacking the soldiers for tunnels into the southern Gaza Strip, used to infiltrate fighters into Israel. Okay. Basically, Israel didn't have a choice. They were going to basically go with the truce. And Hamas is so, pretty much has broken every truce that's going on. You know, they just went into 90 minutes of it, and then that's all of a sudden they start attacking. And then four hours later, pretty much it was over. They announced that the truce is over. Um, you know, we're going to start seeing, you know, I don't really see an end to this war. I see it continuing. And, uh, I see more countries start to get involved, and with Turkey down there, you know, with their ship, you know, their their warship and their troops waiting, it's just a matter of time when they take when they get involved, and it's a matter of when um, Iran's going to get involved. They're helping uh, right now Hamas with the military. They're helping with sending, you know, the rockets and stuff. We got Syria to worry about eventually. They got Lebanon. You got all these terrorist groups around that hate Israel. And Turkey does not like Israel. It's just a matter of when they all are going to come and, you know, attack Israel. And that will fulfill Psalms 83, and I think we're at the beginning of it. It's just starting to go. It depends how long it's going to take. You know, and then we'll, possibly the God war could actually happen, too, if Russia gets involved, you know, becomes the hook, gets hooked in. Um, boy, things are starting to happen so quick, and we don't really see an end to this war over there. Basically, Israel just wants to clear these tunnels, you know, get them demolished so 
you know, they can't, you know, go to Israel and attack them there and go through these tunnels. And basically Israel, once it gets done with the tunnels, wants to get out. But I don't think it's going to happen. Even if they get all the tunnels and try to get out, Hamas is not going to give up and keep, you know, keep firing rockets. So there is no end to this war. This one is not like the ones in the past. This one will take us to the end. So you really need to get ready. You need to find Jesus as your Lord Savior. You, you know, rapture could happen in a second. You know, we're just so close to having a big war. We don't know how big this could be. It could just be big in the Middle East. It could cause a global war. We don't know. You just have to be ready. Jesus come back very, very soon. Jesus loves you. God bless.